Hi guys, welcome back. I'm really excited to introduce a new series of episodes to you today. Yes, there is a reason why I'm wearing these distracted bamboo prints. The topic is phytomedicine or to simply put it herbal medicine. Before I get into the details of it, let me tell you what sparked my interest in herbal medicine. This happened many years ago when I was 18. I was a second year medical student. One day I had severe abdominal pain. I was a little chubby then so I had gone on a severe diet to lose weight and I had lost around 40 kilos. What happened was my gallbladder had developed gallstones and it had to be surgically removed. I recovered very well but then what my surgeon who was also my unit chief told me that I will not be able to tolerate fats for a period of six months and it happened but even after six months I found out that my digestion was not quite up to the mark. So what I did I started researching if there were any plants which could support my liver enzymes because you know what a gallbladder does it basically concentrates your liver enzymes so that when you eat fats those concentrated enzymes are released and they digest fats when a liver is actively producing enzymes sometimes the concentration of those enzymes are not good enough to digest the fats which you eat and that's why you get diarrhea so the herbal medicines really helped me and my interest in them grew today it has been 20 years and i'm still fine with the support of those herbal medicines i do not even take modern medicine anymore to support my liver enzymes next i became a diabetic when i was 37 diabetes a disease which affects nerves and blood vessels so basically every organ which needs blood supply and nerve supply is affected by diabetes and i had to make sure it did not progress let me be clear about one thing i am in consultation with the diabetologist and i take my allopathic medication for diabetes but still i exercise one meal of a day i make sure that it is food as medicine and i will tell you how to do it and then i take two juices of herbs freshly made to control my overall sugar levels and it has been helping my sugars are completely under control and i have not had to increase my allopathic dosage of medication so all these put together piqued my interest in herbal medicine i also think it's extremely important if you're somebody new and you're watching me for the first time for you to know who you are listening to i'm dr santosh jacob i'm an orthopedic surgeon i primarily do a lot of joint replacements i also do interventional spine procedures so basically interventional spine or whenever you hear the word interventional it means something which does not use conventional skin cutting techniques apart from that I am also certified by the American board in stem cell medicine. So I use a lot of stem cell treatments to treat degenerative orthopedic disorders. I am more happy when I'm able to treat my patients without intervening and violating their anatomical integrity. But sometimes all said, surgery is a brilliant way to remove diseases from your body. But before and after that surgery, I think what we eat plants which we take in knowing why they will help us in right doses and right combinations will help us use modern medicine in a much better way where we can be healthier with lower complications as we get through life so basically at this point of time what we are actively doing with stem cells is we harvest mesenchymal stem cells from your hip bone then we concentrate those cells and inject them into degenerated regions of your body for example if you have a disc bulge or if you have osteoarthritis for doing such advanced work where I have to use stem cells in diseased joints so it gave me great freedom as an orthopedic surgeon to use evidence-based herbal medicines from internationally published journals of pharmacy to supplement and support the immunity of my patients and this is another reason I would like to talk about herbal medicine because I think if you believe in it and you use it right it could be very beneficial to our bodies. So talking herbs, they generally help in five kinds of issues. So there are herbs which help your liver and kidney functions and they also reduce cholesterol. Then there are herbs which control and stabilize your sugar levels and they also boost your immunity. Herbs which help your stomach and also balance your nervous system. Then there are antimicrobial herbs which are antiviral, antibacterial and antifungal. They are also anti-inflammatory incidentally finally coming to my speciality there are the bone strengthening and the herbs which are given for arthritis so if you're somebody who 
who is interested in supporting your body, supporting your immune system using these natural herbal treatments. You subscribe to my channel because I am planning to do a lot of evidence based phytomedicine in the episodes to come. Alright, so I am going to introduce the 5 plants or the phytomedicines which we are going to discuss in the next few episodes so that you guys have an idea what we are going to be talking about. So when you take a plant, the plant is divided into plant products. It could be anything from the stem, the bark, the leaf, the wood of the plant could be the seeds or the fruit. Now each of these have different phytochemicals in them and we will be discussing about plant products or plant parts and this is what it means. Now apart from that when we talk about metabolites in plants there are primary metabolites which are nutritive basically they are for energy and other nutrition then there are secondary metabolites which are primarily the phytochemicals which have the healing properties. So let me tell you how the primary metabolites and the secondary metabolites will help you in phytomedicine. Say you have a viral fever. Now you have to take a plant which provides carbohydrates and proteins as their primary metabolites which are nutritive and then the secondary metabolites should have phytochemicals which reduce your fever that is they are called antipyretics and also have antimicrobial metabolites this means just by taking the plant from the primary metabolite you get the energy to fight the disease and the secondary metabolite which is the phytochemical reduces your fever and inflammation and this is how plants help you so the five herbs which we are going to discuss are are one Philanthus emblica or amla which has antimicrobial primarily antiviral anti-diabetic and liver protective functions two artemisia absentium or sweet wormwood this is an anti-malarial i thought it will be a good idea to discuss it because the rainy season is here and malaria is around the corner in asia three nigella sativa commonly known as black cumin this is gastroprotective it protects the stomach the kidney and the liver and it is also anti-cancer and anti-diabetic four Virginia ciliate or parkin bed this is an anti arthritic plant number 5 swartia chirata or chirayita which is an anti diabetic anti viral and a liver protective plant so we will be discussing each of these plants in some detail in the upcoming episodes and i really hope you join me see you soon guys bye bye